Hey guys, this is Cycle One, Week One Fine Arts. Um, for your bigger kids, these, these guys are going to know what this is. Um, for your younger kids, a great review is always good. Um, or an introduction. Um, so I just tell them that the next six weeks they are going to learn about different techniques that are in art. Um, you can go over them or you can just take them one for one if they think that that's going to be easier. But um, just explain to them that all the things that we're going to learn in this next six weeks, they'll see one or if not multiples of all of these different things in art. Um, they'll always see circles or lines or shapes or maybe a mirror image or... Maybe they'll just see abstract, but if they see abstract, then they're definitely going to see some oil of some sort in that. So um, I would just explain that to them and that we're going to never master the technique. We are just going to explore it. Um, and I'd also encourage you, if you send out a weekly email or to your parents, encourage them to work on it at home because it is really easy and um, you might find that you have a creative kid that you don't know about. So. Um, so our week one is oils. Um, this will be in your directions. I'm kind of just going to go through them with you. Um, the second thing that you might want to do is take a picture of each child from, I would say, waist up or even their whole body. They're, they're not, we're not doing my body. Um, but we are going to do that for week six. Um, the final project is going to be with a picture. So we will get those printed and we might have you guys print them. I don't know if that's to be determined. But if you could take those pictures and make sure maybe by week two that you have everyone's, that would be great. Um, and that'll just make it better. Um, so, and then I also have the last thing. I have some books that would be good with these, like just kind of starting out, inventing, figuring things out. Um, I don't really think I'm gonna get to them this week, but maybe these are great recommendations to send out to your parents of, hey, this is kind of relating to our art this week, and I have those written down for you. Our first activity is going to be um, a little notebook that we made. We used these two cycles ago. Um, so again, they're gonna be in that folder that I talked about in that intro, in that binder, and these are the first ones, and it'll just say week one on it. So you're gonna go through, it has your oils, it has by, have the kids write their name if they can. I think most kids should be able to do that. Um, and then you're just gonna go through them with that. And um, the, what each thing is, yeah, circles. So it tells them what the definition is at the bottom. Um, and you're gonna write it on a whiteboard or if you have an extra one of these, if you feel like they would do best writing in one of those, or just on a sheet of paper, it really doesn't matter. Um, just have them start to explore what each shape looks like. Um, you can use the pencils with the erasers. You can also just use markers. There's, there's. If they mess up, don't worry about it. It's okay. Um, so they, I would, I would recommend a marker, and I would do a different marker for each page, just so if a girl doesn't get pink, it's okay because she'll get it on the next page. Um, so you go through that. There's six of them. There are the definitions at the bottom of the page, so I'm not going to go through them, and I know that most of you know them already. Um, and this is a booklet that, gosh, I'm going to put in for my kids. I'm going to put it into their art folders for the end of the year um, because I just think it's really cool to see everything. So anything that can fit into their art folders and they can we can give it to them at the end of the year to see their progress I think is really cool. But... If you have a kid that really wants to take it home, I understand that too, and play that by ear on your class and where you're at. Um, so this should take about five to eight or nine minutes. That introduction should be one to do. So really should be 10 minutes into art at this point because we really want to save a lot of time for our second activity. Um, so our second activity is um, from this book paint lab and our first six weeks we're always going to do something from this book so I do have the hard copy of this but I'm going to show you what let's see yep okay so that is kind of the idea that's the end product that we're looking for um so everyone is going to get a sheet of this black paper that is into a square um you are going to pick a lighter colored pastel you have all your pastels right here 
I'm gonna pick a lighter color pastel. It doesn't have to be super light, but I would stay away from the dark ones, and you'll see why in a second. So you can, um, so you're gonna draw essentially a donut. You're gonna draw a big circle with a circle left in the middle, like cut out. Um, and then you are going to, you know what, this is actually better because it gives you the instructions. And I'll just talk through it. Sorry, that was a little rough. So you're gonna draw this circle in a light color. It has them using acrylic paints. For our time purposes, we're gonna use pastels because you can layer those. Second, you are going to pick a darker color and you're gonna make a thick ring and a thin ring. These don't, it can be a thick ring out here and a thin ring. It doesn't really matter, but make two rings and have them different sizes. And then we get into talking about our oils and we get into our details. So they have hearts and you know squares um, they have all different details, so they just, essentially you can make more circles and you can make details inside of there. Have them use their oils, ask them what shapes they're using. They don't have, um, zigzag lines would be a great one in this. Um, anything like that, just hashtag lines, anything like that to talk about the oils that we just learned about. And then they have just for a cute detail at the end to put some sort of star or heart or maybe even the kid's initial in the middle would all be really cute. And um, I forgot to mention that these ones, obviously, the kids will have their name on them, but we would, will have the labels, again, like we have every year for the students. So just have a mom help take those on, or I know that some tutors put them on ahead of time. That's possible, too. So that's our activity. I think kids are going to get really creative with it. I would really try and stick inside of that circle um, and tell kids that maybe if they went too far that... It's a good idea to stop sometimes. I have a above and beyond child. Um, so just that idea that maybe it starts to get a little muddy and it starts to get too gross and let's keep it simpler rather than more extreme. And if for some reason you think, oh, I have time at the end and I already went through this, give a show and tell. If you have enough time, have kids stand up. If you don't, have kids do it, ta-da, where you just say, okay, everyone holds it upside down and you say one, two, three, and everyone says ta-da, and they show it to each other, and that's all it is, and sometimes that's really fun for littler kids. All right, thanks, good luck.